Today we want to talk about the use of math drawings and in students' work to show their work and to show their understanding and to be able to have something to show the class as they explain. Math drawings are developed starting in first grade in the daily routines and this is the 120 or 240 poster that students use during daily routines. We use a circle to show one and this is developed in the 120 poster starting in first grade and the students circle one every day. So then the circle becomes the representation of one. And then each day they add one until they make So here we have a representation of ten ones, or if we counted the circles, we have ten circles. And to show that we made a ten, we ask the students to line a ten. So that when they see a number of circles with a line through them, they automatically know ten circles have been counted to make ten. This is the money flip chart that's used again in first and second grades and students are doing a similar thing. They're adding one penny each day by putting a circle around it and there the circle represents one and every day they add one. So they're seeing this in a similar orientation of vertical ten. And here you can see the distinction of two groups of five. And when students get 10 pennies circled, they put a line through it to represent 10. And then this is called the money flip chart because then students are able to trade those 10 pennies for a dime. So we're seeing that 10 pennies equals one dime or one ten. This is a math board that students use starting in first grade. Each student uses a board and they write on um, the board to show their thinking. If a student was working to solve this equation, seven plus five, they might start by using the number path that goes around their board. It's different from a number line in that it's not straight and it also represents a counter square. So a student might start by circling seven ones, and then they would add five more ones. You can see we're using this circle to represent ones. And then they would notice, ooh, I completed 10, so I'll put a line through it. Now I can tell I have 10 plus 2, or 10 and 2 ones equals 12. A student in second grade might be able to solve a problem like this, 61 plus 9, by using the number path around the board. And by this point in time, they're recognizing that a line makes 10. So they would line 60 by making 6 lines, or we call those quick tens, and one. And then they would add nine ones by circling nine more boxes, or counters, we might call them. And then they would notice they completed a ten, so they would line, and they would see they have seven tens lined around the board, or seventy. They would also be able to show what we would call a math drawing in grades one and two, or later in the grades, a proof drawing by showing a math drawing. And here, they're representing 10 with a line. So they would represent 50, and one more 10 down below makes 60, 61. And they would represent nine with nine ones. And then they would look to see, do I have enough to make a new 10? 
they might notice if they moved this one down into the empty spot that it, they would have two rows of five to make ten and so they would circle their new ten and then they could prove I have six tens and one more new ten I have seven tens or seventy on the back of the math board I'm going to use this matrix of ten um, groups of 10 dots or 100 to show how we build the math drawing for 100. So students might circle 10 ones or 10 circles and then say, oh, there's 10 and put a line through it. Or students might say, oh, I know there's 10 in a row, so I'm going to line 5 tens or 50 and then I'm going to add 50 by adding five more tens. And I can see that I have 100 dots. And they put those 10 tens into a box that now we use to represent 100. Okay. Later on, students will be representing 100 with that box shape, with the understanding that they have developed inside this box, there are 10 tens. So an older student might be able to do a math problem in this way with a math drawing. And in the older grades, they may call this a proof drawing. So they would draw 100 as a box, four tens, two ones. Then they would represent 200 with two boxes, or we call those quick hundreds, three tens, and seven ones. Second graders are able to do this with a math drawing. So then they would notice I have three hundreds, I have seven tens, I have nine ones, and they're able to say I can add those and the total is 379. In grades three, four, and five, students are developing understanding at the higher place values of the number system so they might show five hundreds or five boxes and then they would show five more hundreds. Five hundred plus five hundred equals one thousand and then they would develop the math drawing for one thousand by putting those ten hundreds into a rectangle that later they will call a quick thousand and they will represent one thousand with a rectangle that's turned this way and they would represent one hundred, ten, uh, and one. So older students would be representing thousands with their rectangle, hundreds with their box or square, tens with their stick, and ones with their one.